Hi guys, my name is Roger, and ever since I was a teenager, I've always wanted to build my own car. I started this channel to see if an average person, like me, can design and build their own mid-engine car. If you like what you see here in my videos, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you know someone who you think might be interested in my videos, please share the videos with them. I'll be adding a new video every week, and with that out of the way, let's get started with this week's video. Well, I uh, have a couple things to show you tonight before we get started. And I picked up my roll cage tubing today. And that is the new rear hoop. Same place the old one was sitting, but this is the new one. And it is uh, close to the outside of the template as he can get. His bend radius is slightly different than what I had my fixture at. But everything other than the bends looks to be correct or really close. I may have to tweak it just slightly but it looks correct and he wasn't able to bend these two a-pillar tubes exactly correct because he doesn't have a tubing roller and because of the multiple angles it was just complicated so i had him to go ahead and just bend this one main bend i'm going to try to put these in my tubing roller and finish them see how that goes uh, i'm sure it's going to be a challenge and i may not be able to do it either but uh, we'll find out and one more thing the pedal assembly came in yesterday this is what i'm using for braking clutch the wheel wood i most likely won't be able to use the mount i'll have to uh, make my own mounts because these pedals are going to have to be separated further apart and the 
brake pedal itself is going to have to be lengthened because this pedal is, both these pedals are designed on a 7 to 1 ratio which uh, gives them a lot more leverage. They're made for manual brakes instead of the power brakes and I need a 4 to 1 ratio on my brake pedal so I'm going to have to extend the top of that pedal and I have an idea how to do that but I uh, just want to show you these and I guess let's get started welding and see if we can get some welding done tonight on this uh, roll cage bar.
wanted to give you a quick little update this morning before we start working. Um, as you can see, I put the uh, suspension and the wheels and tires and everything back on the car. I have uh, some company coming for Thanksgiving, which is just a few days away, and I want them to see the car completely assembled. So I've started putting it back together. It's not going to affect or be in the way of things we're working on. But yesterday before I started assembling the car back together, I was able to take this tube that was bent by the race shop. They had the one bend here in the center. And I run it through the roll former, form the shape of the front here to conform to the windshield and the back here to conform to the template I had for the roof line. And I believe I have this tube close enough to work. I've still got to fit it on both ends, uh, cut it and fit it to the plate in the front and notch it to fit in the tube in the rear, which I've started doing. But I think I can make this one work and uh, we'll continue today to try fitting this tube and be sure I can make it work. Also, I welded on these plates. Uh, they're 190 thousandths thick, the same material as these gussets here. And I've left these a little bit oversized large until we see exactly where this uh, steel plate bolts on and what position it's in exactly. I may come back and trim some of this excess off. Um, at a minimum, I'll, <clears throat> I'll at least come back and radius the corners and make those nice and smooth. But both sides are done. And I think the next thing I need to do is, you know, I had the windshield setting on these wooden plates here. I had it marked where the corners of the windshield sit. I need to make something similar to this to mount here just on the corners to support the windshield to have it in the right location and right height and then we can start working on fitting this tube uh, but I think that's what we're going to get started on this morning so let's go ahead and see if we can make some wood spacers and get the windshield put back in the car and have everything ready to start putting this tube in.
Well, I want to show you here what I'm working on, and I forgot to turn the camera on for the last uh, hour, hour and a half of work. So you missed seeing me do a little bit of the work, but uh, just a few couple of welds and trimming a plate. I have this bar welded on both ends, and I've radiused the corners and drilled holes and bolted it together. But I think there's going to be a little bit of almost door interference here. It just barely clears. I may wind up having to cut this off and round that over and smooth it up real nice and move this bolt over to the inside. There's also a bolt up under here that you don't see. So there are two bolts holding that together and it, it needs at least two. So I'll probably wind up moving this one, but I'll make that decision later. But I want to show you the tube is dead center of the edge of the glass. I'm very happy with the fit of that and I have if you can see here it's a uh, about a quarter of an inch gap all the way down which will leave me room for the the carbon fiber body post there and then urethane glue for the windshield so that's the gap that I was wanting to maintain and I'm pretty happy with the way that looks the gap for the window is pretty consistent it's a little tight right here in one spot, but this can be adjusted in and out and, and uh, tweak that. And we're welded here at the back, bolted in on all three corners. Uh, I don't have quite four yet, but um, pretty happy with this. It was a lot of work, but looking good. I have one more tube that's bent at a slightly different angle here. That was by mistake, and I'm gonna have to see if I can spring that out. It's over bent slightly. I'm gonna see if, see if I can spring that out and get it back to the same angle that this one was because this one worked great. And if not, I may have to go to the race shop and have them bend me one more, but I'm gonna try to straighten it out. It's just a few degrees, so I might be able to flex it just a little. But I'm happy with what we've done this week, and I guess this is a good stopping point for this video. And we'll see you again in one week when we start on the other A-pillar on the passenger side of the car.